Oh shoot, that's a good fish. That's a fish right there. Oh yes. Oh, it's or something, dude. Oh, oh no, 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 no. Man, we both just doubled up on the sand trout. This is gonna go on the grill tonight. That is gonna eat good. It is just absolutely glass flat. I cannot tell y'all the last time I've seen it this good when it's not July or August. Water is actually not too bad either. It's got a good green tint. I wouldn't be surprised if it's diveable at the rigs out there, but it is a late Sunday. We're here today. We're gonna go check out the jetties real quick. We're gonna probably fish for an hour. Peak fishing is gonna be in about 30 minutes. After that, we're gonna be heading to the bay. My buddy's coming to town and we're gonna take the little boat out and see what we can do. We're gonna be targeting redfish and trout. So hopefully we have some luck. First, I wanna hit this jetty, see how it is. I mean, it's just absolutely amazing out here right now. There's people in the surf and the kayak. One thing that would make it better is if we can get a fish. But if we don't get one here, we're gonna get one in the bay. So stay tuned, it's gonna happen. It feels so good. It is sunny and about 70 degrees. All right. Water looks pretty good, even though it's kind of brownish. Like we got a pretty low tide right now. All right, well, we left the jetties. I didn't want to waste too much time there because the tide was super low. There's a lot of people there. And um, I was seeing some sheep's head, but I only had artificial lure. So what we're gonna do, my buddy's back, is we're actually gonna take his John boat. Um, it's, it's super calm offshore, calm enough for the John boat. We're gonna take it offshore and hit some rigs. Uh, we're gonna try to jig for some ling. If the water's clear, I might jump in, um, but I'm not really counting on that. So yeah, we're gonna go out to the rigs, jig for some ling, just do some fishing out there. If that's no good, we're gonna come back inshore and do some bay fishing. So that's the plan right now. It might change. That's what we're gonna do. I'm going to his house right now. Small world in this boat. It's like a kayak <laughs> with a motor. A little bit bigger. Uh-oh, Nate's got something. The fish looks gigantic. It's that light tackle, baby. Oh, Ooh, dude, that's like, you can keep that. Yeah. It's a lane snapper, that's legal. Perfect fish for the close rig. Very lively. Now that's perfect. These close rigs don't usually have big snapper. So whenever we pull that up, they only have to be eight inches. So that's the ideal thing. You get a keeper fish. I might have to put on a bait. Why does it come to the surface? Oh, it's Spanish or something, dude. That would be awesome. Please. Hell yeah. <laughs> dude, that's a beast. It's a big old Spanish. That's awesome. I'm rigged up now. Time to go. Yeah. All right. Oh my gosh. Vision. Oh. Oh, that was something. Oh. If it was only a little bit clear, I would have seen it. That was a good fish, though. Damn. There we go. That little trigger fish. <laughs> He's going airborne. <sighs> All right. All right, there's the trigger. 
not a keeper. He's pretty, pretty lively. So a trigger fish, the reason they're called trigger fish is because they have this little deal. But the way to make it go down is you push the back one. Without it, you can't make it budge until you go like that. Boom. He pooped on me. Yep. Yep. Oh shoot, that's a good fish. Good fish. Oh. No. Oh. I think that was a fat snapper. Yep, yep. <laughs> oh my gosh, the first drop. Oh. Nope, nope. Oh, there goes my whole rig. Was it Spanish? I don't know. You got my fish or what? <laughs> I'm always having a little guy. A little red. Saw one of my first Goliath fruit out here. Really? In between here, yeah, there was like a big old school of blue bluefish. And then he was just right in the middle of them, dude. Like the size of a freaking boat leg. Jet drive. Oh! Good Let's continue the pursuit. There we go. A little red. We're back to the bait fishing. When that big snapper hits me again, she's coming in. Yeah. Oh. Oh. What could it be? Uh-oh. I just got broken off. And now I got a big girl on. Pulling the boat around. Little hook. I'm just not having the luck with this. Get away from wherever you want to go. Damn. Oh my god, I quit. We're going home. Gap top? <laughs> yeah, buddy. You have minus 3,000 points now. <laughs> That's a fish right there. Now let's see if we can keep him hooked. He's fighting better than the first one. I have a feeling it's a gaff top. No, ooh. What's with me and trigger fish today? Another one. We are catching a lot of different fish though. Nate's on now. Snapper mapper over here. Oh, he's peeing all over me. I felt something and then I looked down and there's urine squirting all over my leg. Trigger fish number two. I don't know what's with me and trigger fish today. He's going. All of the fish are like, no, wait, wait for the trigger fish to come and then he can eat it. Wow. Yes, sir. That feels like a snapper. I don't want to jinx it, but. Oh, double baby. Oh yes, sand trout, baby. That'll eat. Yeah, that's a freaking toad. You know, that's, I actually thought about that earlier. Oh my gosh. I've never seen one. That's a stud. Yeah, that is. Nate's over here hooked up too. Got my sand trout. Oh, another, another good Oh, oh, why do you gotta one up me like that? <laughs> Oh, oh no 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 no! Ah! Oh. 
Man, we both just doubled up. <laughs> I got it on video. We doubled up on the sand trout. This is gonna go on the grill tonight. That is gonna eat good. These are really fat. I can tell that one was really fat too. Oh yeah. I was, oof. That'll eat, man. What happened, Nate? The hook at the <laughs> right at the freaking boat all right yes sir for a trip out here in a tiny micro skiff right after a cold front we're out here catching quality keeper fish trout meat for dinner one more lick what is it what is it gonna be Smells like hardhead though. Oh wow, what do I say? Oh, delish. We've got a hoss. I mean, the last one that was fighting like this was a big, big gaff top. It's a gaff top. I'm going home. Yeah, we're going in. He's got a big one on. It could be a big snapper. The adventure home begins. a lot of good eaters today. awesome trip I haven't done that in a while you know something about being in a small boat like that it's kind of like being in a kayak except we have the motor um, it's super fun if you guys are looking for a little bit more adventure try going out in a smaller vessel that compared to being in a big boat it just feels a lot more like you're you're there I, there's a there's a certain feeling I don't really know how to describe it there's like a presence when you're out there you're more vulnerable you're in a small boat um, it's just a little bit more exciting so that was super fun we went out there didn't see any ling, as y'all saw, but we found a lot of success um, with the bait fishing. So this is actually the rig that I used, just like a simple Carolina rig. Um, you have your weight right here, and then that is going to go to your little bitty circle hook. You know, it's actually kind of funny because we caught everything on these bait rigs. Nate caught Spanish mackerel, a snapper. We caught a couple of little red snapper, but he got that lane snapper. Trigger fish, and then the sand trout. And then we came inshore, and with the same rig, caught red fish. So that was really fun, really awesome. So yeah, but like I said, big thrill being a small boat. I don't know if it's just me, but just being out there in a smaller vessel just feels a little bit more adventurous. Just the feeling of being in a smaller boat, being offshore, makes it a little more exciting, and I like that. But yeah, so what we're gonna do now is get all of this fish, not all of it, we're gonna cook a little bit. We need some, we need some of that fish oil. We gotta get some of that brain energy. We're gonna cook it up right here. Are you ready? You ready? 